uncle backflip workout. It's a great core workout. It's excellent for physical activities like swimming. It requires very little more than body weight and some exercise tubes like this. You, ideally, you want to have something you can secure this to that's very firm and stable. The workout is a Tabata workout, which means you're going to be doing 20 seconds on, alternated with 10 seconds off, and you'll be doing that for a four-minute interval per exercise. It's best to use a timer app to ring you through. I like to use Boxing Timer Pro. You're going to go through the exercise one at a time. We're going to start it off with the walk-out push-ups. So walk-out push-ups are going to look like this. You're going to begin by just squatting on the ground. So this is the start position right here. Now you're going to walk your hands forward, bend the elbows down and back at a 45 degree angle to lower yourself all the way flat down to the floor. Press yourself back up and walk back into the squat position. Walk forward and repeat. So you're just walking back and forth from the squat position. Now, if it's too hard to do the push-up from the hands, then you can do the push-up from the knees. So once you walk out, drop to your knees, do a knee push-up, then walk your way back. A progression on this is to do two push-ups when you're in the fully walked out position. So it would look like this. One, two, then walk your hands back. Okay, this is an excellent exercise for the chest, the shoulders, the triceps, and there's a lot of rotational core stability with the walking out, so it's a great big bang exercise. The next exercise we're going to be going on to is A T W Y retractions. So we're going to be retracting our upper back. This is a great postural exercise. Now, the first retraction we're going to do is the letter A. So I'm going to be laying face down with my arms like this, like the letter A, and I'm going to be lifting them up and down, retracting from the middle of the upper back. So it will look like this. So I would do that for about for 20 seconds. Okay, and typically you'll do about 20 to 25 reps. If I needed to progress it, I could hold some small little hand weights. After doing a set of A, on the very next set, I'm going to do T. So for T, my arms are directly out to the sides like this, and my palms are going to be facing forward, so my thumbs are up. So I'll be down on the ground, and I'm going to be doing T retractions. Lifting from the middle of the shoulder blades. So that would be set two. Now we're going to be doing W's. For W's, my elbows are tight to my sides and my forearms are pointing out at a diagonal, 45 degree diagonal with the thumbs up. And I'm going to be squeezing between the shoulder blades. Again, as I retract those scapula and lift the arms up and down off the ground. So W retractions. Just like that. Now on set four, we're going to be going on to the Y retractions. So the Y retractions, you're going to have your arms extended overhead, just like the letter Y with your thumbs up. And you want to be lifting through the mid back. Don't do a shrug on this one. That would defeat the purpose. So just make sure you're lifting through the mid back. This is going to get a lot of the lower trapezius on this one here. Excellent. And once again, if you want to progress this, you can use light weights. So that would be set four. Now on set five, we go back to A. Set six, T. Set seven, W. And then the final set, set A, another Y. Okay? A, T, W, Y retractions. You're cycling through those four different techniques. Unless you have a postural need for one of them, as determined by your coach, who may then prescribe, I just want you doing the Y retractions, or I just want you doing the T retractions. In those cases, you could just do all eight sets of the one technique if it was determined that that would be a best way to customize for your needs, okay? 
Now the next exercise is leg pull front. This is a Pilates move, and you're going to be in a push-up position on your hands and feet, body in a straight line. Now, you're going to make sure your hip position doesn't change, and you lift one leg up four to six inches off the ground, lower and repeat, alternating legs, keeping the core perfectly still, okay? And also, you don't want to just let your shoulder blades collapse down together. You're keeping very firm with your upper body. Now... As a progression, you could have your feet wider apart. So if I go with my feet really wide apart now, it's a lot harder for me to resist rotation. Okay? A further progression would be to take something like this. This is a closed loop elastic mini band, and I could step through it, and I could place it just above my knees. It's going to now resist the hip extension. So when I lift the legs up, I'm just getting a little bit of elastic resistance. A further progression would be to lower this down to the ankles, just like this. From the ankles, it's pulling at a longer lever arm. So now that closed loop mini band is going to challenge your hip extension to a greater degree. So those are some progressions there. Now the next exercise we're going to be doing is the leg swing side plank. For this one here, I'm going to have you start from your knees, okay? You're going to have your elbow stacked directly below the shoulder. Knees are bent, lift your hips up from the side. Okay, now from this position here, you're going to take your top leg and you're repeatedly swinging it back and forth, just like this. Now, as a progression, I would stretch out my top arm directly overhead like this. So I'm just going to give you a different view by turning my body so you can see the direction that the leg is moving here. So I'm up in the side plank technique. Then you can see I'm swinging my leg back and forth, okay? So I would do a 20 second set on one side, then I'd alternate to the other side for set two, okay? Set two, I'm now on my right for 20 seconds. Set three, I'm back to my left, and I just keep alternating. As a further progression, you can do this from your feet instead of your knees, but I'm just going to give you a word of caution, that is quite a big jump to be doing this from your knees to your feet and it's a whole other ball game okay now the next exercise technique we're going to be doing is leg pull back this is another traditional pilates movement you're going to be sitting with your hands behind you like this from this position you lift your hips up all the way now you're just going to lift one leg up and down in front at a time, alternating sides, okay? Just like that. Now, make sure that you're not doing this from a sloppy position down like this, just floating your hips a couple inches off the ground. We want to keep the body very straight, all right? Now, for a lot of people, this burns the shoulders a lot. It does get better over time. If for some reason, let's say you had a condition called anterior capsule laxity in your shoulders. If you've been diagnosed with that, then this might be contraindicated as far as shoulder postures to get into during an exercise. So if you need to, for any reason, we could just do alternating leg raises instead, laying face up. That would be the alternative uh, because it's a little easier on the shoulders, okay? And when you do that, I was talking, but you would just keep your head down on the ground and keep your legs off the ground the whole time. And if that was super hard, you can just bend your knees a little bit, shortens the lever arms, and that should make it a little bit easier and more manageable. Now, for the next one, you're going to take a two, something like this, and I want you to secure it around something very firm. Now, sometimes I will take the handle of another two and I'll slide it through the hinge in a door. So it's coming out the hinge side, and then I'll, I'll loop one tube through the handle of another one that's sticking out of a door hinge. So that's a technique. 
Now here I have one party. I already have a tube that's anchored up on the wall, okay? So I'm holding on to tube handles right now. This exercise here, you're gonna hinge back at the hips, so that's your start position. And then I want you to just keep your arms straight and you're just doing alternating stiff arm pull downs like this. Okay, going pretty quick, you're gonna feel that burn. All right, just like so. So once again, I have a tube attached very high there, but if you needed to, let's say that you don't have anything very high that you can secure it to. Well, I could secure it to something like, I could secure it to something like this power rack, and I could maybe just do it from a kneeling position, and I could go, do the exercise like that, just so I can get the right angle for the upper body. That's an acceptable alternative. So you can loop it around a piece of cardio equipment or anything else you have that's handy. I'm just demonstrating how you might improvise that one because it's one that will commonly have to be improvised. Now the next one we're gonna be doing is three-way shoulder raises. So what you do here is you're going to do three techniques within each set. You're gonna do them in sequence, eight of each. The first one is a bent over reverse fly. For this technique, I'm gonna stand so that the tubes are under my mid feet, okay? They're running under the middle of my feet. Now I bend my knees, I push my hips back, I'm leaning forward 45 degrees with a straight spine. My arms are down by my sides. Now I arc them up and out to shoulder height, okay? So just from the front, it's gonna look like this. I'm bent over and I'm lifting it up and out to the sides. You would do eight of those. Then you stand tall and you do eight standing side raises. Okay, just to give you the alternative view there. Then after that, you're gonna do eight front raises. Okay, just like this. So the idea here is you're doing all three within a set. When you do the bent over reverse fly, that's your rear deltoid. Standing tall is the mid deltoid. And then standing tall out in front is the anterior deltoid. So you're working all three deltoids in the shoulders there. Now, in some cases, you may have it prescribed by your coach or trainer. I just want you doing the bent over reverse fly because of your posture, or you're a little bit weaker in the lateral del mid deltoid. So I just want you to do the side raises for the full set. So that's okay if there's a need to pick one of those techniques and just use it. If it's as far as customizing for your goals, for priorities, capacity, weaknesses, whatever. That is an option available to you. Otherwise, I encourage you to just cycle through all three within the same set. So that concludes Uncle Backflip. It's a great workout you can do just about anywhere. It's amazing for the core. It's easy on the knees. If you have knee concerns or anything like that, it's excellent for sports, especially swimmers. Swimmers usually benefit from all this different core and shoulder work. So it's ideal for that. And you can set it up just about anywhere. I've had great results with this workout in my life and I'm confident you'll find it works super